Today, we're the largest marketplace in the world for sneakers and streetwear, but we also sell watches and handbags, and we'll continue to add a lot of other products besides just those. I think probably since I was eight years old. I literally still have sneakers that I wore when I was 12 and, and 13 years old. So for me, it's always been a passion. And what's been interesting is I've started to run three other startups before this, and none of them had anything to do with sneakers, almost intentionally so, almost like intentionally separating business and pleasure in my life. And you know, it wasn't until I brought them together that we had one that was this successful. StockX is about two and a half years old, and um, you know it's already at a point where it's close to a, a billion dollar run rate in uh, in GMV, which is um, it's been phenomenal. Next year, my guess is it ends up, frankly, by the time we get through Q1, we'll probably be at, at two billion. Um, and then as a revenue business, ours is uh, works like many other marketplaces. So we take a, a percentage of the transaction. Very fortunate to have a lot of very high profile people as part of the business, um, including Eminem, Mark Wahlberg, Steve Aoki, Carly Kloss. Um, honestly, none of that was ever intentional. It happened very organically. I've collected sneakers all my life. And today I have somewhere between 350 to 400 pairs, um, which is, you know, sounds like a lot, but you know, in the sneaker world and in the pantheon of big collections, that's nowhere near, you know, People have thousands and thousands, so um, it's a lot for sort of their average person, but you know, I'm, I'm still a, a small collection in the grand scheme of things.